when you try to be independent and say you'll pay for your own food and he agrees? Well, I, no, I was just kidding. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking through r slash nice girls. Ain't gonna say I beat my boyfriend but he do flinch when I reach for him. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah that's funny I'm a piece of garbage. A dude can be active all day and entertain a bro that don't do crap for him but ignore the bro that wanna see you win and wanna help you get a bag. Y'all boys claim y'all grown as she. How you grown with a mindset of a child I don't get it. Good females always get hurt. 3 100 emoji. <laughs> Not one, not two, that's right, three of them! Cause my pain's tripled. Ain't nobody want the girls that are gonna be here for them. They want the girls that are gonna hoe around and act surprised when it happens. Like, <laughs> bro, you knew that was gonna happen. You could've gone for a nice girl like me and, you know, things could've worked out, but here you are, hoeing around. <sighs> no sympathy for you. Baking them in that heat. Yeah, I know. Hot like you. Oh, uh, not to be rude, but I'm not looking for a relationship, lol. Never mind, frick you! Bye. Bye, fool. <laughs> I like that she used fool, that's kind of vaudeville and I like that. Alright, fine. When you text him goodnight to make him beg for your attention and he leaves you on red. If you text me goodnight, I assume you're going to sleep. I want you to get a tight 12 hours in, you know, get a good night's sleep, wake up refreshed. I'll let you sleep. My boyfriend don't need girlfriends cause I'm his best friend. I have 60 personalities. Choose what friend you want today, baby. I'm a psycho, but you love me anyway. No. No, I don't actually. This is quite concerning. You need to see a professional. <laughs> <laughs> she broke up with me, blocked her on all social medias, and has the nerve to send me this. I have nothing that she owns. Hey, it's Blank. I just got off the phone with Blank PD. It's illegal for you to abstain from getting in contact with me while you're in possession of some of my stuff, therefore preventing me from ever getting it back. I didn't want it to come to this, but if I don't get it back in two days, you'll be having a visit from Officer Blank. What am I in possession of? You took everything when you left. Sounds to me like you got a case of, uh, CRAZY! Shared by the Sam's girl who curses guys for ghosting her on Facebook. Hmm. We used to talk. First of all, I was bored. Oh, that's gross. You're gross for doing that. Yeah, I know, I'm bored. Time to, time to play with feelings for people. Doesn't matter. Girl, boy, if you do that to anybody, you're, you're gross. You get the award for being gross. You know when your boyfriend asks you if you want anything from the shop and you say no and he actually comes back with nothing? Rude. Everybody knows that no means surprise me. No, it means no. A friend got dumped, yes, got dumped, and a few days later commented on another girl's Insta post. It's been one to two days since we broke up and you already got girls hyping you up? Damn. Loyalty much? Nice one. Great to know I was some dumb toy you play with. Have a good life. Meanwhile, I'm still telling people I love you, but I had to break up with you because we never talked. Yeah, okay, bye. I guess not gonna let a player break me. They're just my friends. <laughs> just put yourself into my shoes. Ugh. Yeah. Who to F is Cherry Garcia? Actually, don't answer. I hope she makes you happy. Dumb, bro. I was talking about the ice cream. Cherry Garcia, you stupid for that one. Oh, that's a big boy post. Can we zoom out? Can we get a, a look at the size of this post? Gaze in awe at the sheer size of this post. OP, I know I was unfair to you and sorry things turned out the way they did. I used your kindness as a crutch to feel like I had something to fall back on, and you shouldn't have been that. You treated me so well, and I took advantage of you, and now every time I want to sleep, I think about how you felt next to me, even when I'm with him. I understand if you moved on, but I want to know if we could meet up and talk more about things and where we can go from here. Nice girl. I really hope you don't think saying sorry is just gonna patch things over. You screwed me over before and to be honest, I shouldn't have let you in a second time. And we ended up going pretty far with it. I know we never defined what we were, but still, with the way we acted, I honestly thought whatever we were was gonna be real. So when I asked if you wanted us to be real and you hit me with, I'm not a good person to be with right now. I thought giving you time and just keeping up the routine we were in was gonna lead into it. Then you turn around and start dating someone? I mean, I kinda knew, but it still hurt. I wanna be childish and hurtful and say things to you you probably don't wanna hear, but just the thought of you makes me tired at this point. I wish you luck, to be honest. I genuinely care for your mom and I hope she gets better. And no, I don't know if I've moved on. I don't think anyone ever moves on, but I'm trying and I think I'm doing all right. I don't want to meet up with you anytime soon, though. Thank you for giving me my stuff back. Good night and best of luck, Chief. Can you at least just tell me if you're already dating someone? <laughs> Where do you get off? Please. I'm not dating anyone, and even if I was, what does it matter to you? Can she do what I did? 
<laughs> oh, what do you mean? I just said I'm not dating anyone. Stop reaching. Go back to your boyfriend, nice girl. I'm gonna delete these messages, and if I wake up in the morning, I'm not gonna hold this against you. What if I leave him? Then you'd be single. Also, you'd hurt another person for your selfish reasons. We're not kids anymore, nice girl. Grow the hell up. I'm not gonna be there to make you feel okay anymore. Figure that out for yourself. If you wanna leave him, then do it. But don't do it thinking we're going to be in a relationship. David, please. Please what? Don't leave. Oh, yikes. Don't make this more complicated than it really is. I told you at the end of it all, I'll still be here, but I also told you it's only for your mom. Friend said she saw you at Walmart with someone. Who is she? Wow. Honestly, truly, holy crap. She was a coworker helping me out. Stop reaching. Helping out with what? Shouldn't matter. Is it her? Oh, stop trying to make something up out thin air. Go to sleep, drink water, delete this whole convo. I'm not dealing with any more of this. Does she say she loves you? Does she say she loves you? You didn't say it either, so what does it matter? I love you. Uh, you're a dollar short and a day late on that. Doesn't change the fact that I love you now. I think I always have, it's just been hard to see it. Nice girl, you don't love me, and don't lie to someone like that ever again. Pick up. OP, please pick up. Nah. Shout out to OP, That's a that, that was a full drama, that was a soap opera and a half, my guy. You might be cute, but your attitude is out of control and I'm tired of constantly having to deal with your crap. Did you say cute? Hmm. You know what? I take that back now, too. <laughs> hey. A published author leads with hey? <laughs> I'm hot. I have a lot of matches and I don't have loads of time to waste on idiots. Quick, prove you're worth my time. Because with a response like that, you're already a bit in the red, son. Nah, I'm good. Good luck, though. Nice girls responding to a guy that is, quote, convinced there are no loyal girls anymore. I'm convinced y'all are drama queens. Wrong. It's because all men go for whores, and they get with them with the intention to change them if it's a build a bra workshop. All the loyal girls are left behind. It's not our fault that all of you want to tramp for a girlfriend. Yikes, all right, jeez. When your man tries to dump you and thinks that's gonna stop you from being his girlfriend, <laughs> What? Ah, oh, boundaries? I don't know about those. Let me overstep that real quick. Just, yep. All right. Boundary stepped over. Do men still open car doors? How else am I getting that MF? Faithful girlfriend. We exist. We're just slightly chubby and expect too much out of boys who claim to be men and ready for something real. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm a nice girl. <laughs> I don't know if her name's Amanda or not, but I don't know. That sentence gave me Amanda vibes. If you don't chase me while I'm fake leaving, I can't be with you. Sorry, that's just the facts. This is one of my family members' posts. She's been married for over 30 years. Dudes will never realize what a great woman they have until she's gone for good and they're stuck with a dumb bro that doesn't even do half the things the woman they took for granted did for them. Oh, I love being married. I can post these uh, with vague context. It's not about my husband. I love that man. It's about my ex, Chad. We could have been together, Chad. She had to leave me for Stacy. I'd be wanting to cry because I'm dead a good female. I'll hold you down, love you unconditionally, won't judge you regardless of your financial, emotional, physical, or mental standing. Anyone I screwed with can't say I was wrong or screwed up to them. I'd be seeing girls my age with bros treating them so good and I'd just be wondering like when I'ma earn myself a good one. It ain't fair cause I'm not perfect, but I'm worth it. Been hurt too many times and I'm still willing to try. This right here. Uh, <laughs> I love that we have a heart, a thumbs up, and then a hmm. <laughs> Two months into being friends, quote unquote, show me a body. Dude, no. Okay. Why are men sleazy AF? You started this conversation asking if I eat coochie and then suggesting you wanted to come over. Yeah, and that's all you ever want. All of you. I don't get it. Just screw it, man. Okay. I I'm sorry, lol. I was texting two people at the same time, and I thought your text was someone else's. Yeah, maybe we could screw at some point. I don't know. Uh, probably not at this point. Okay, you're a piece of crap anyway. I didn't even want to do you. I was just in it for the free dinner. <laughs> Hi, my name's A. A stands for a nice girl. All hyphenated. <laughs> By the way, she lives in another country. I don't want you to meet other girls. <laughs> you should just care about me. Hmm. Sorry, but we're in different postcodes. And time zones. You're in another country. I'm good. She calls from the moment she gets home. 2.40. And we stay on said call for seven, eight hours a day. Then she gets mad when I want to hang with friends or take my attention away from her in any way. Every day for hours and hours on end with no personal time is what I call hovering. Normal people call it a relationship. I'm not going to the freaking hospital today. And you put your health on the line because I decided to say there's no personal time. Okay, that's a red flag. Gotcha. See you later. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> 
Don't expect to hear from me again. I'm horny. Sorry, what was that? Y'all hear something? You beat the crap out of your boyfriend because he hung out with a female co-worker. When you're single but no one wants to date you because of your wacky personality? I'm so wacky, what's that? My boyfriend being helped by a female co-worker? What? BAM! That's a backhand! Don't you ever talk to another woman again, I'm the only woman in your life. Do you understand me? Mother out of the picture. Grandma, who's that? Sister? Forget about it, it's me. Nice A girl. And you better respect that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just dirty-minded, but you can pop this cherry. Huh? You can take my virginity if you want? No thanks. As I said, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> okay, turn down tests with a perfectly good virgin? Yeah. It's okay, I'm not mad. I'm saving myself anyway. Please save yourself. I'm sure it's gonna be expired very soon. With your personality. I legit feel sorry for some guys. Like, they're gonna be 40-odd all shagged out and wifeless, but hey, at least they'll still have the boys to go down to the same crap pub with every weekend. Are you talking about Peter Griffin if he was divorced? Actually, no, this would be more about Quagmire, wouldn't it? Quagmire has no wife. But you go to the same pub every weekend, so... <laughs> Got him. My boyfriend literally just got me some chocolate and a card for Valentine's. Like, when I say I want chocolates, what I really want is a ring or a necklace. Just because I say I want something doesn't mean I want it. <sighs> this is why you be specific. Say things that you would like or mention it in passing. If you want to be coy, say it, I don't know, a little while before the event. Find a way to bring it up in conversation. Put it in the brain. Hey. Hey, what's up? Long time no talk. How you been? Good. Emily said you broke your leg. Yeah, I was cleaning my gutters and I fell off. Classic, lol. Yeah, I really miss talking to you. We should go out on a date. Oh, I I'd love to, but my leg is really messed up and I can't leave the house for a few weeks. Whatever. I don't even like you anymore. You're ugly and I hope your leg doesn't get better. You missed your chance with me, buddy. Uh, okay. Have a nice life. And that brings us to the end of r slash nice girls, and if you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And as always, you already know what I'm gonna say, I'll be seeing ya!